Welcome to my YouTube channel BioWorld. In this video we will talk about the cell in which we are going to concentrate over that what is cell. Discovery of the cell and ultra structure of the cell. Before explanation to the cell. We must know that all the living things are made of cell. Cells are the building blocks of living things. Such as a building is made of bricks. Similarly, all the living creatures whether they are animals, plants, bacteria, fungus and protozoans all are composed of cells. So, we can define a cell as, cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all organisms are life. Organism any living thing is called organism. What is cell? Come to understand first of all meaning of the cell. The word cell is taken from Greek language cellula which means little room or box. Now tries to know who was the first to discover the cell. In 1665, Robert Hooke, an English scientist, made sliced pieces of cork. Cork is a wood that would use as a cover over the mouth of the bottles in past. Robert Hooke then observed these sliced pieces under microscope. So, he saw small paws-like structures and termed these structures as cells. Thus Robert Hooke became the first scientist who saw dead cells. At the time of 60s Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek was the first scientist who saw living cells for the first time. Actually he was a shopkeeper but he made his own microscope and he was so interested to see anything under his microscope. Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek took a drop of water, plaque of teeth, semen of man and observed these three samples respectively under microscope. Thus saw some movable creatures that he called animalcule. These creatures were protozoans in water, bacteria in plaque of teeth and sperms in semen of man. Types of the cells. On the basis of shape and function there are so many types of the cells. Such as nerve cell, muscle cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, bacterial cells, sperm cells and etc. These all cells keep different shape and as well as each one play different role in the body. For example, nerve cells receive signals from all the body parts and transmit to the brain and turn back to the target to perform the task. Muscle cells bring movement in the body, oxygen is carried by red blood cells and white blood cells protect the body against the germs and pathogens. On the base of size and length largest cell among the cells, is egg of ostrich which is about 15 cm in size, whereas, in length nerve cells are longest cells in the body some of them goes up to 1.3 m long in length. Ultra structure of the cell. All the cells have different structure and function but here we draw a common structure of the cell and subcellular structures that are present inside the cell is called cellular organelles which we will discuss in detail in coming lectures. But today we are going to take an overview of them. A common cell contains the following organelles, such as plasma membrane. It is an outermost bilipid layer that surrounds the cell and cellular organelles. Plasma membrane play role in variety of functions such as, protection of the cell, transport of material in and outside the cell, cell signaling or communication and etc. Nucleus. Nucleus is a double membrane organelle mostly located in the center of the cell. It contains genetic material DNA or chromosomes of the cell. Ribosome. It is non-membrane bound organelle that play role in protein synthesis or production. Endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is a complex network of membranes that function as lipid synthesis, protein synthesis, lysosomes and microbodies formation. Golgi complex. Golgi complex is a series of flattened membrane sacs. Golgi complex involved in packing, modification and processing of proteins, glycolipid and glycoproteins formation. Lysosome. Lysosomes are membranous sphere-shaped vesicles filled with hydrolytic enzymes that play role in digestion of macromolecules, old cell parts, microorganisms and breakdown of cellular wastes and debris. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is a rod-shaped double membrane organelle. Mitochondria is responsible for energy production. Cell wall. Cell wall is the non-living top external covering found around the plant cells, algae cells, fungal cells and bacterial cells. It provides shape, protection and cell-to-cell -cell interaction. Vacuole. Vacuoles are empty membrane bound spacers. It helps to store food and waste material of the cell and also play role in digestion, excretion and expulsion of excess water from the cilia.
Cilia are small, slender, hair-like structures present on the surface of some animal cells and mostly protozoan cells. Cilia play a role in locomotion, feeding and sensation. Flagella. Flagella are long hair-like structures found in bacterial cells, some algae and animal cells. Flagella involved in locomotion of a cell. Some special flagella are used in few organisms as sensory organs that can sense changes in pH and temperature. Plastid. Plastid is a double membrane bound organelle which is found only in the cells of algae and plants. Plastids is responsible for food production, food storage and cell coloring. Cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is a non-membrane bound long spherical rod shaped structures. Cytoskeleton provide mechanical support and shape to the cell. Centriole. A centriole is a pear cylindrical shaped, hollow tube like organelle present near the nucleus in animal cells. Centriole helps to organize microtubules that serve as skeletal system of the cells and it also play role in cell division by facilitating the separation of chromosomes through spindle fibers. Cell theory was given by two scientists in 1839. One was a German botanist, Matthias Jakob Schleiden and the other one also was a German zoologist Theodor Schwann. In 1838, Matthias Schleiden concluded that all plants are made of cells and cell is the basic unit of plants. Whereas in 1839, Theodor Schwann concluded that all animals are composed of cells. Hence, in 1939 for the first time the cell theory was formulated from above these two statements. Two basic points of cell theory was that, all the living things are composed of cells and cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. As such these two points became cell theory. But in 1855, and another scientist Redolf Virchow added one more point to the cell theory. Redolf Virchow was observing bacterial cells under microscope. So he saw that, one bacterium is dividing into two bacterial cells. Thus Redolf Virchow concluded that, cells divide and new cells are formed from free existing cells. Hence extended the cell theory with a new point. Now we recently have three fundamental points in the cell theory. The first one is, all the living things are composed of cells. Second one is that, cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Whereas the last one is that, new cells come from free existing cells. So this was all about cell theory. If any one of you has any doubt, please ask in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel BioWorld and push the bell icon to get new updates. The concept of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Scientists categorize all the living things into five major groups. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Planty and Kingdom Animalia. The first one, Kingdom Monera is prokaryotic. This group contains only prokaryotes organisms. It does not has a true nucleus. Nucleus is a cell organelle that contains genetic material or DNA of the cell. Prokaryotic cell DNA is present openly in the cytoplasm. In prokaryotic cell, the region where DNA is found called nucleoid. Prokaryotes have no membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotes are simple and ancient or cells or organisms. Prokaryotes are unicellular or single-celled organisms that means the whole body is composed of one cell. Bacteria and blue-green algae are examples of prokaryote organisms. And rest of the four kingdoms are eukaryotic organisms. Eukaryotes has a clearly defined nucleus where DNA or chromosomes are enclosed in nuclear membrane. Eukaryotes have membrane-bound organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, mitochondria, centrosome, Golgi body, chloroplast, nucleus, plasma membrane, ribosome, cytoplasm. Ribosome is non-membranous organelle, while cytoplasm is the fluid of the cell that holds all the organelles. Eukaryotes are complex and modern cells or organisms. Eukaryotes are almost multicellular and as well as single-celled organisms, animals, plants, fungus, and protozoans are eukaryotes organisms. Now we describe prokaryote and eukaryote literally and also define them. The term eukaryote is derived from Greek words eu 
means good and karyon means nuclei however eukaryotic cell is defined as a cell or organism that has well defined nucleus with membrane bound and non membrane bound organelles is called a eukaryotic cell or organism the term prokaryote composed of two greek word pro means primitive and karyon means nuclei definition a cell or organism that does not have a true nucleus and membrane bound organelles is called eukaryotic cell or organism plasma membrane it is one of the cellular structures if you are unaware of the cellular structures so then see the previous lecture introduction to the cell link is given below in the description nevertheless plasma membrane as a cellular structure that enclose the cell and cells organelles and play role as a boundary between cell and their environment first we will take an overview then we will go into explanation so today we are going to study what is plasma membrane discovery of plasma membrane definition of plasma membrane structure of plasma membrane and function of plasma membrane So let's start with what is plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is an envelope-like microscopic double layer structure which surrounds the cell and cellular organelles with cytoplasm. You can see in this cut section of the cell diagram, blue color is a plasma membrane that encloses the cellular organelles. It is also called cell membrane or phospholipid bilayer and is present in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes organisms. In all living cells it works as selective barrier that allows some things to pass through but stops others Such things may be polar molecules nonpolar molecules ions or other large and small particles Therefore we can call it a semi permeable membrane also But here we must be aware of certain terms used just before a while such as hydrophobic molecules hydro meaning water phobic meaning repelling so we can define as molecules that repel or resist water is called hydrophobic molecules hydrophobic molecules are usually nonpolar nonpolar meaning the atoms that make the molecule don't produce any electrical charge in opposite pole of the molecule such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen molecules that has no electrical field on their opposite poles while hydrophilic molecules are opposite to them hydrophilic molecule hydrophilic molecules are opposite to hydrophobic hydro meaning water philic meaning loving so we can define as molecule that love or attract water is called hydrophilic molecules hydrophilic molecules are usually polar meaning those molecules produce positive and negative electrical field on the opposite pole of the molecules as called hydrophilic molecule such as h2o water molecule and hydrochloric acid hcl you can see positive and negative electrical fields in opposite poles of these two molecules molecule a molecule is a group of two or more atoms held together by atomic forces known as chemical bonds for example such as h2o co2 ch4 and etc you can see in this examples two hydrogen atoms are bound to one oxygen atoms and in the second case one carbon is bound to two oxygen atoms while in third case one carbon atom is bound to four hydrogen atoms thus different atoms combine to make molecules and molecules combine to make products such as h2o molecules combine to make water co2 molecules combine to make carbon dioxide gas and ch4 molecules combine to make methane gas that we use at homes atom the atom is the basic building block of matter anything in the universe you see is a matter and composed of atoms such as carbon atom hydrogen atom oxygen atom and etc ion any atom or molecule that has positive or negative net charge due to the loss or gain of one or more electrons is called an ion hydrogen ion that has positive charge due to release of electron and chlorine ion it has negative charge due to gain of electron discovery of plasma membrane in 1839 theodor schwann who was a german zoologist studied different types of animal cells and reported that cells have an outer thin layer we know today as plasma membrane definition of plasma membrane plasma membrane as defined as plasma membrane as an envelope like selectively permeable phospholipid bilayer which surrounds the cell and cellular organelles is called plasma membrane or cell membrane 
Now comes toward the structure of plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is composed of phospholipids. If we take a look at the chemical structure of phospholipid so then we can understand better. Phospholipid molecule is composed of lipid and phosphate molecules. Lipid has further two constituents one glycerol and two fatty acids molecules. A phospholipid chemically composed something like this that a glycerol is bound to two fatty acids by a bond known as ester bond. At third carbon of glycerol, a phosphate molecule is bound to the OH group and a choline molecule is also bound to phosphate molecule at the end. This complete structure is called a phospholipid. It observes something like this in membrane that has a head and tails. It is also known as lecithin. This was the chemical structure of phospholipid. But now we will see a phospholipid at a membrane level that how it looks. Phospholipid in plasma membrane looks somewhat like this. Phosphate, choline and glycerol makes the head. And fatty acid molecules compose the tails. The head that comprises phosphate, choline and glycerol produces electrical field negative charge, so we call it as polar head and it is water loving therefore also called hydrophobic head. Tails are opposite to the head, don't produce electrical field, so it is called non-polar tails and water repelling, so it is called hydrophilic tails also. Such molecules which show dual nature are known as amphipathic molecule. Now tries to understand the arrangement of phospholipids in plasma membrane that how these phospholipids are arranged. For example, this is a cell without membrane and this is cell's internal fluid that we call cytoplasm. This the fluid outside the cell which is known as interstitial fluid. Phospholipid molecules are arranged in bilayer like this. Heads are water loving therefore facing the liquid on both the side, whereas tails are water repellent so that's why in between the liquid because they don't want to face water. These two layer of phospholipids is considered a single plasma membrane. Membrane proteins. Plasma membrane also contains proteins. Proteins are also chemical substances like lipids or other chemical substances that we will discuss later in biomolecule chapter. But anyhow. This is a plasma membrane structure. Blue color structures are the proteins that embedded in phospholipid bilayer. These proteins are classified into two basic categories. Those proteins that are completely embedded in plasma membrane are called integral proteins, whereas those that are partially penetrated as known as peripheral proteins. These proteins basically work as transporters for cell content to transport in and outside the cell. Plasma membrane contains another chemical substance. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are also chemicals, like other lipids and proteins. Carbohydrates are found in two positions in plasma membrane. Those that are present on lipid of membrane is called glycolipids and carbohydrate found on proteins of plasma membrane is known as glycoproteins. Glycoproteins and glycolipids functions as recognition receptor for the cell. Cholesterol. It is also a type of lipid that are penetrate in various position in phospholipid bilayer of plasma membrane of the cell. It functions as to bring fluidity in bilayer of membrane. Functions of plasma membrane The plasma membrane functions as a physical barrier between the external environment and the inner cell organelles. The plasma membrane is a selectively permeable membrane which permits the movement of only certain molecules both in and out of the cell. The plasma membranes play an important role in both the endocytosis and exocytosis processes. The plasma membrane also functions by facilitating communication and signaling between the cells. The plasma membrane plays a vital role in anchoring the cytoskeleton to provide shape to the cell and also maintain the cell potential. What is a cell wall? Cell wall is a rigid, non-living outermost covering of a cell found in eukaryotic plants, fungi, algae and prokaryotes but it is absent in other eukaryotic organisms such as animals. They provide structural support protection and prevent desiccation. The cell wall separates the interior contents of the cell from the exterior environment. Cell wall thickness and composition varies according to the organism. Fungal cell wall Fungal cell wall is made up of chitin. Chitin is a composition of glucose which is also found in the exoskeletons of arthropods. 
It also provide protection, structural support and prevent desiccation. Prokaryotic organisms such as bacteria also contain cell walls. However, they are chemically different from the cell wall found in plants and fungi. Bacterial cell wall is composed of large polymers known as peptidoglycans or murine. Peptidoglycan or murine consist of sugars and amino acids that forms a mesh-like peptidoglycan layer outside the plasma membrane. Cell walls in prokaryotes serve as a form of protection and prevent bursting of the cell and expulsion of cellular contents. Structurally, prokaryotic cell walls consist of two layers. An inner layer that is made up of peptidoglycans and outer layer that is composed of lipopolysaccharides and lipoproteins. Those bacteria consist of single, thick peptidoglycan layer of cell wall are called gram-positive bacteria. While those that consisting of both cell wall layers are called gram-negative bacteria. Plant cell wall is generally arranged in three layers, primary cell wall, middle lamella and secondary cell wall. It is composed of carbohydrates like cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin and other smaller amounts of minerals which form a network along with structural proteins to form the cell wall. Primary cell wall the primary cell wall is the first formed cell wall situated outside the secondary cell wall. It is mainly made up of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin, allowing the wall to stretch for the purpose of growth. It is also comparatively permeable and thinner than the other layers. Middle lamella The middle lamella is the outermost layer. This layer primarily composed of gel-like pectins. However, other substances such as lignin, magnesium, calcium and proteins can also be found. It acts as an interface between the other neighboring cells and stick them together. Secondary cell wall Secondary cell wall is formed inside the primary cell wall once the cell is completely grown. Secondary cell walls contain a wide range of additional compounds that modify their mechanical properties and permeability. The major polymers that make secondary cell wall include cellulose 35 to 50 percent, xylen 20 to 35 percent, a type of hemicellulose, lignin 10 to 25 percent, a complex that penetrates the spaces in the cell wall between cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin components driving out water and strengthening the wall. Also, this layer provides the characteristic rectangular or square shape to a cell. It is also the thickest layer and permits permeability. What is the function of the cell wall? The cell wall is an integral component of the plant cell and it performs many essential functions. Following are some of the major cell wall functions observed. The plant cell wall provides definite shape, strength, and rigidity. It also provides protection against mechanical stress and physical shocks. It helps to control cell expansion due to the intake of water. It helps in preventing water loss from the cell. It is responsible for transporting substances between and across the cell. It acts as a barrier between the interior cellular components and the external environment. If you feel good to see this video, so, please subscribe my YouTube channel BioWorld and press the bell icon to get notification about upcoming videos. Nucleus. First of all we take an overview. Then go to a detailed study. So, overview of nucleus includes, what is nucleus? Discovery of nucleus. Definition. Structure and function of nucleus. What is nucleus? The word nucleus is derived from Latin word carion, 
literally means kernel that translates to a nut-like structure. Discovery of Nucleus Nucleus was discovered by Scottish botanist Robert Brown in 1931 in the cell of Orchid. Definition Nucleus is defined as, Nucleus is a double membrane bounded organelle of eukaryotic cells, contains genetic information in the form of DNA or chromosomes that control all the cellular activities therefore also considered as command center of the cell. It is self-replicating organelle. Nucleus may be spherical, oval, elongated and irregular in shape. In animal cells it located in the center while in plant cells it found in periphery due to presence of large vacuole. Generally each cell contains one nucleus but some cells may have two or more than two nuclei. Such as paramecium or protist organism has two nuclei. Osteoclast, bone cells and skeletal muscle cells are multinucleated. However, it is absent in some eukaryotic cells, such as mature phloem cells of plants and mature RBCs of most mammal cells. Structure of Nucleus The nucleus consists of the following structures. Nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, chromatin, nucleolus, nuclear pause. Now we will define each one with diagram. Nuclear Membrane The nucleus is covered by two membrane layers known as nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope. Space between these two membrane layers is called perinuclear space. The outer nuclear membrane continues in the form of a network of tubules to make endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes are also attached to the outer nuclear membrane of the nucleus. There are pores in the nuclear membrane which is known as nuclear pores. These pores are guided with permeasis proteins channels that control the transport of cellular contents between the nucleoplasm and cytoplasm. The transport between nucleoplasm and cytoplasm is called nucleocytoplasmic traffic. Nucleoplasm. It is a fluid or matrix of the nucleus. It is also known as nuclear matrix or karyoplasm. Nucleoplasm is a transparent solution or fluid which contains water, proteins, enzymes like at pace, DNA or RNA polymerase endonucleases. It also contains nucleotides, calcium ions, magnesium ion and etc. Nucleolus. Nucleolus is a non-membrane bound structure usually attached to chromatin at specific sites called nuclear organizer region. It may be one or more. It contains 85% proteins, 10% RNA and 5% DNA. Function of nucleolus is to form ribosomes. Ribosomes play role in proteins production. Chromatin. Chromatin is a network of threads of DNA molecules that have wrapped around the histone proteins. It also consists of other non-histone proteins and lit amount of RNA. During cell division at metaphase stage chromatin condenses into a visible X and Y shape that we call chromosomes. Function of Nucleus Nucleus has two major functions. Such as, 1. It contains genetic material of cell, DNA or chromosomes. 2. Regulates all the cellular metabolic activities. This was all about the nucleus. If you has any doubt please ask in the comment section. Please like video and subscribe my YouTube channel BioWorld. Push the bell icon to get notification about new video Golgi Complex. And, we are going to discuss the following points. Such as, what is Golgi Complex? Discovery of Golgi Complex. Structure of Golgi Complex. And, function of Golgi Complex. Let's start. What is Golgi complex? Golgi complex is a eukaryotic cell organelle made of a series of fused membrane enclosed flattened pouches or discs, known as cystinae, that are filled with fluid, proteins, carbohydrates, glycoproteins and specific enzymes. The Golgi complex, also called Golgi apparatus or Golgi body. It is also called dectiosome, in plant cells. The number of cystinae ranges from 3 to 7 in most organisms. 
Golgi can be thought of as similar to a post office that packages and labels contents then send for other part of the cell or outside the cell. Discovery Golgi complex was discovered by Camelo Golgi in 1898, so called as Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus. Structure Golgi complex consists of cystinae and vesicles. Cystinae they are sacs or disc-like structures that are arranged in a concentric fashion. Cystinae lie just closer to the endoplasmic reticulum as called cis face or cis forming. Vesicles that leave the rough endoplasmic reticulum are transported to the cis face of the Golgi apparatus as called incoming transport vesicles. They fuse with the Golgi membrane and empty its contents into the lumen to be processed and modified. While, the farthest concave cystinae are named as trans face or maturing face. Secondary vesicle. Vesicles leaving the trans face of the Golgi complex, containing final products, are sent in different part of the cell or in extracellular space, are named as secondary vesicles. Function of Golgi complex. Post-translational modification, packing and transport of proteins occurred in Golgi complex. Golgi complex stores proteins transported ephetrom endoplasmic reticulum. It involves in the formation of cell wall. The Golgi apparatus is also involved in lipotransport. An important function of Golgi complex is the formation of lysosome that break the unnecessary things in the cell such as large molecules, microorganisms entered in the cell and other unnecessary material of the cell. Acrosome, head of the sperm cell containing destructive enzymes used for penetrating the egg is also formed by Golgi complex. Today our topic is endoplasmic reticulum. We are going to discuss, what is endoplasmic reticulum? Discovery of endoplasmic reticulum. Types of endoplasmic reticulum. Modification of endoplasmic reticulum. Structure of endoplasmic reticulum. Function of endoplasmic reticulum. What is endoplasmic reticulum? Endoplasmic reticulum is a complex network of membranous tubules and sacs, eventually joining out a nuclear membrane in eukaryotic cells as called endoplasmic reticulum. AR is the short form of endoplasmic reticulum. The space inside the endoplasmic reticulum is known as luminal space. Except for sperm cells and red blood cells, endoplasmic reticulum is observed in all other eukaryotic cells. Discovery Endoplasmic reticulum was discovered by Porter and Thompson in 1945. Structure of endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is composed of three basic components. Such as, cystinae. These are long flattened sacs arranged in stacks containing ribosomes on their surface. Tubules. These are irregular often branched tubules of endoplasmic reticulum. Vesicles. Vesicle are oval membrane bounded structures responsible for transport of products processed in endoplasmic reticulum. Type of endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is classified into two units. Rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Each one has its own structure and function. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is a series of flattened sacs, having ribosomes embedded in its membrane, giving a rough appearance, therefore called rough endoplasmic reticulum. Abundantly occurs in cells which are actively engaged in protein synthesis, such as, liver cells, pancreatic cells, gland and goblet cells. The second one is, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is a tubular unit of endoplasmic reticulum and does not have ribosomes, hence called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is concerned with carbohydrate and lipid metabolism, such as, in adipose tissues, muscle cells, liver cells and also detoxifies toxins. Modification of endoplasmic reticulum. Sarcoplasmic reticulum. In muscle cells and cardiac cells endoplasmic reticulum is modified a bit, hence known as sarcoplasmic reticulum. It stores calcium ions that regulate the movement of muscles. Nissel's body. 
A nissl body, also known as nissl substance and nissl material, is a large granular rough endoplasmic reticulum unit found in neuron cells. As stated before, the endoplasmic reticulum is categorized into two types, and both these types of endoplasmic reticulum perform specific functions. However, function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the synthesis of essential lipids, such as phospholipids and cholesterol. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the production and secretion of steroid hormones. It is also responsible for the metabolism of carbohydrates. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum store and releases calcium ions. These are quite important for the nervous system and muscular systems. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum transports the products of the rough endoplasmic reticulum to other cellular organelles, especially the Golgi apparatus. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with detoxification of drugs, pollutants, steroids and toxins. Function of rough endoplasmic reticulum the majority of the functions of rough endoplasmic reticulum is associated with protein synthesis. Rough endoplasmic reticulum also plays a vital role in protein folding. It also responsible for important function, protein sorting. Please subscribe my channel BioWorld. Don't forget like and share the video. Mitochondria. We will discuss. What is mitochondria? Discovery of mitochondria. Structure and function of mitochondria. So let's start the lecture. What is mitochondria? The term mitochondrion is derived from Greek words mitos and chondrion, which means thread and granules like respectively. Discovery. It was first described by a German pathologist named Richard Altman in the year 1890 and termed as bioblast. The name mitochondrion was given by C. Bender in 1898. Definition. Mitochondrion, plural, mitochondria, is a double membrane bound organelle present in the cytoplasm of all eukaryotic cells that involved in breaking down nutrients and generating energy rich molecules for the cell such as ATP adenosine triphosphate. ATP is the main source of energy used by the cells and also known as energy currency of the cell. Many biochemical reactions such as citric acid cycle and electron transport chain reaction involved in cellular respiration take place within the mitochondria. All the mitochondria present in a cell are collectively called chondrium. Usually animal cells have more mitochondria than plant cell. Mitochondrion is a self-reflicating organelle. Mitochondrion properly known as the powerhouse of the cell. Structure of mitochondrion. The mitochondrion is a double membrane, rod-shaped organelle found in both plant and animal cell. Its size ranges from 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter. Mitochondrion comprises an outer membrane, an inner membrane, inner membrane space and a gel-like material called the matrix. Christie. The inner membrane of mitochondria has many folds that form a layered structure called cristae, and this helps in increasing the surface area inside the organelle. Christie contain pin-like particles known as oxysomes, elementary particles or F-particles. They are actually ATP synthase enzymes responsible for ATP synthesis. The Christie and the proteins of the inner membrane help in the production of ATP molecules. A number of chemical reactions take place within the inner membrane of mitochondria. Mitochondrial matrix. The mitochondrial matrix is a viscous fluid that contains a mixture of enzymes and proteins. 
It also comprises 70 S ribosomes, inorganic ions, mitochondrial circular DNA, nucleotide cofactors, and organic molecules. The enzymes present in the matrix play an important role in the synthesis of ATP molecules. Functions of mitochondria The most important function of mitochondria is to produce energy through the process of oxidative phosphorylation. But it is also involved in the following process regulates the metabolic activity of the cell, helps in detoxifying ammonia in the liver cells, plays an important role in apoptosis or programmed cell death, responsible for building certain parts of the blood and various hormones like testosterone and estrogen. Helps in maintaining an adequate concentration of calcium ions within the compartments of the cell. It is also involved in various cellular activities like cellular differentiation, cell signaling, cell scene sense, controlling the cell cycle and also in cell growth. Please subscribe my channel, Bio World. What are plastids? Plastids are double membrane organelles which are found in the cells of plants and algae. Plastids are responsible for manufacturing and storing of food. These often contain pigments that are used in photosynthesis and other different types of pigments that can determine the color of the cell. Types of plastids. There are different types of plastids with their specialized functions. Among them, a few are mainly classified based on the presence or absence of the biological pigments and their stages of development. However plastide are classified into chloroplasts, chromoplasts, gerontoplasts, leucoplasts. Leucoplast is further divided into three classes. Amyloplast, proteinoplast, alioplast. These all types of plastids are formed from precursor proplastid. Chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are biconvex shaped, semi porous, double membraned, green color cell organelle found within mesophyll tissues of leaves, herbaceous stems, and fruits covering. They are the sites for synthesizing food by the process of photosynthesis. There are up to 40 chloroplasts in a cell. Structure of chloroplast. Chloroplast is a double membrane organelle. It has an inner membrane and outer membrane. The outer membrane is smooth and more permeable while the inner membrane is less permeable. Permeable means capability of permitting substances to pass through the membrane. Inner membrane contains disc-like structures called thylakoids. The group of thylakoids stacked together is known as granum plural grana. The fluid present in inner membrane is called stroma. Stroma consists of DNA, RNA and 70S ribosomes. Stroma also consists of enzymes required for synthesis of carbohydrates in dark reactions. The most important and abundant enzyme is Robusco. The grana are connected with each other by long thylakoid membrane called lamellae. Grana contains photosynthetic pigments known as chlorophyll pigments. Any substance that absorbs light is called a pigment. Light reaction of photosynthesis takes place in grana while dark reaction takes place in stroma. Chromoplasts. These are pigmented plastids usually found in colorful other than green parts of the plants such as flowering plants, aging leaves like petals and fruits. Chromoplasts have carotenoid pigments that allow different colors that you see in plants. Chromoplast forms from chloroplasts. The main reason for its different color is for attracting pollinators. 
Gerontoplasts. These are basically chloroplasts that go with the aging process. Gerontoplasts refer to the chloroplasts of the leaves that help to convert into different other organelles when the leaf is no longer using photosynthesis, usually in an autumn month. Leucoplasts. These are the non-pigmented organelles which are colorless. Leucoplasts are usually found in most of the non-photosynthetic parts of the plant like roots and woody stem. They act as a storage sheds for starches, lipids, and proteins depending on the need of the plants. Leucoplasts are of three types, amyloplasts. Amyloplasts are greatest among all three and they store and synthesize starch. Proteinoplasts. Proteinoplasts help in storing the proteins that a plant needs and can be typically found in seeds. Elioplasts. Elioplast helps in storing fats and oils that are needed by the plant. Ribosome. We are going to discuss what is ribosome. Discovery of ribosome. Structure and function of ribosome. So let's start with the first point. What is ribosome? Ribosome is a specialized non-membrane bound cell organelle found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells except mammalian red blood cell. Every living cell required ribosomes that produce proteins from amino acids during a process called protein synthesis or translation. Discovery Ribosome was discovered by George Pallade in 1953. Ribosome structure. A ribosome is composed of rRNA and proteins, therefore, also known as a ribonucleoprotein. It is a complex of two subunits, smaller subunit and larger subunit. The small ribosomal subunit, which read the mRNA while the larger subunit adds amino acids to polypeptide chain of protein during translation process. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. Eukaryotes have 80S ribosomes, large subunit as 60S and small subunit as 40S while. Prokaryotes have 70S ribosomes, large subunit as 50S and 30S small subunit. S stand for Swedberg unit. It represents the sedimentation rate of cellular components. Sedimentation as the process of separating substances of different densities by the use of centrifuge. In eukaryotic ribosomes the amount of rRNA is 60% and proteins as 40%. While in prokaryotic ribosomes proteins are 60% and rRNA is 40%. Location Ribosomes are located in various parts of the cell, either freely skated in cytoplasm or attached to outer membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and nuclear membrane. It is also found in cellular organelles like mitochondria and chloroplast, therefore also called organelle within organelle. About half a million ribosomes are present in a common eukaryotic cell. Ribosomes are synthesized in nucleolus and transported to cytoplasm. Ribosomes function. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. It assembles amino acids to form proteins that are essential to carry out cellular functions. The proteins synthesized in the cytoplasm are utilized in the cytoplasm itself. The proteins synthesized by bound ribosomes are transported outside the cell. How does the ribosome work? Ribosome first binds to a mesanger RNA. Secondly, transfer RNAs comprising amino acids start reading the codes in messenger RNA and eventually in matched case transfer their amino acids to growing polypeptide chain of protein this was all about ribosome please subscribe my youtube channel bio world 
lysosome. The word lysosome is derived from two Greek words, lysis means splitting and soma means body. So we can define as a lysosome is a membrane-bound spherical shaped organelle contains hydrolytic enzymes that break down biomolecules, cellular components and bacteria or viral particles penetrate the cell. Biomolecules may be proteins, peptides, carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids and other molecules. Discovery Lysosomes were discovered and named by Belgian biologist Christian D. Duve in 1955. Originally, D. Duve had termed the organelles the suicide bags or suicide sacs of the cells. These are found almost in all eukaryotic cells except mammalian red blood cells. In plant cells central vacuole play role as lysosomes because it contains some of the lysosomic enzymes. But not accepted yet as lysosome. The size of lysosomes varies from 0.1 micrometers to 1.8 micrometers but in white blood cell it is larger in size up to 0.8 micrometers to 2 micrometers. Lysosomes contains many enzymes like phosphatases, carbohydrases, lipases, nucleases and proteases. These enzymes require an acidic environment for optimal activity. Lysosome anterior pH ranging from 4.5 to 5.0 compared to the slightly basidic cytoplasm pH 7.2. Types of lysosomes Lysosome is known as polymorphic organelle because it exists in different morphological stats at various stages. Such as, primary lysosomes. Vesicle consist of hydrolytic enzymes just budded off from Golgi body is called primary lysosomes. Secondary lysosomes. They are also called digesting vacuole or phagocytic lysosome. They are formed by fission of primary lysosome with phagosome, a vesicle containing food, bacterium and viral particles, is called phagosome. Residual lysosomes or territory lysosomes. Lysosomes contains undigested material, after absorption of digested food into cytoplasm is called residual lysosomes. In unicellular organisms these are moved outside through exocytosis. While, in multicellular organism retains it in cell as lipofusin granules. Autophagic lysosome. It is also called autophagosome or cytolysosomes. They involve in breakdown of useless and demerged cellular organelles that are out of function. Such as. Mitochondrion which dies after 10 days then it is digested and replaced by new mitochondrion and similarly liver cells renew its components each week through autophagic lysosomes. The process through which cellular structures are digested is called autophagy. Functions of lysosomes Lysosomes act as the waste disposal system of the cell by digesting useless materials in the cytoplasm from both inside and outside the cell. Such as intracellular digestion. Foreign substances received by the cell is digested through lysosomes by the process of phagocytosis. Phagocytosis means eating process of a cell. The old and dead cell organelles are also digested by lysosomes through the process of autophagy. Cells process of eating its own components is called autophagy. Store food in the cell is break down into small usable molecule by lysosomes during starvation. Extracellular digestion. Lysosomes also help in extracellular digestion by relying the enzymes. For example, Fungi organisms release enzymes on the food present outside the cell and break down into small food particles and absorb them. Lysosomes of osteoclast, a type of bone cell that breaks down bone tissue. This function is critical in the maintenance, repair, remodeling of bones and also helps regulate the level of blood calcium. The osteoclast digests the composite of bone by secreting acids and collagenase enzymes, process is known as bone resorption. 
autolysis or apoptosis. The destruction or decomposition of complete cell by its own enzymes is known as apoptosis. In old cells, like white blood cells, epithelial cells, platelets and damaged tissues of wounds are removed by bursting all the lysosomes inside the cell. Thus destroys whole the cell therefore lysosomes also called suicide bags also. Diseases related to lysosomes. There are some diseases occur due to mutation or fault in the lysosomal enzymes. But we will explain only two of them such as glycogenesis type 2 disease, also known as G storage disease. It is caused due to absence of alpha D glycosidase enzyme responsible for digestion of glycogen molecules mainly used to generate energy for the cell. In this disease glycogen accumulates in liver and muscle cell that cause muscle weakness myopathy throughout the body and affect various tissues particularly nervous system, liver cells and cardiac muscles. Tay-Sachs disease. Tay-Sachs disease is a genetic disorder passed from parents to their childs. It is caused by the absence of an enzyme known as beta-hexosaminidase that help in breakdown of fatty molecules. These fatty substances accumulate in brain called gangliosides up to toxic level in babies and young children and affect the function of nervous system. Thus, children lost muscle control and eventually leads to mental retardation, paralysis, blindness and even death. What is peroxisome? Paroxysm is a small vesicle single membrane bound organelle found in the eukaryotic cells it contains oxidative enzymes such as peroxidase catalase the amino acid oxidase uric acid oxidase for lipid metabolism and breaking down toxic molecules into safer molecules peroxisomes are also found in protozoans yeast and higher plants Discovery. It was first described by D. Duv and co-workers in 1965 in liver cells. The name peroxisome is applied because this organelle is specifically involved in formation and decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Peroxisome structure. Peroxisome is surrounded by a single biomembrane. It has a granular matrix comprising various enzymes and molecules to be metabolized. They are vary in shape, size and number depending upon the cell type and energy requirements of the cell. Peroxisome is about 0.6 to 0.7 micrometer in diameter. Their number vary from 70 to 100 per cell. They also exist in the form of interconnected tubules in liver cells known as paroxysm reticulum. The enzymes involved in lipid metabolism are synthesized on free ribosomes and selectively imported to paroxysms. Paroxysm function Peroxisms play an important role in lipid metabolism through beta oxidation and are also involved in the conversion of reactive oxygen species such as hydrogen peroxide into safer molecules like water and oxygen by the enzyme catalase. Catalase enzyme uses H2O2 to oxidize other substrates including phenols, formaldehyde and formic acid, alcohol by means of the peroxidation reaction thus eliminates the poisonous hydrogen peroxide. This reaction is important in liver and kidney cells where the paroxysms detoxify various toxic substances that enter the blood, about 25% of the ethanol that humans consume by drinking alcoholic beverages is oxidized to acetaldehyde in this way. In animal cells, the long fatty acids chains are converted to medium chain fatty acids, 
which are subsequently shuttled to mitochondria where they eventually are broken down to carbon dioxide and water. Peroxisome also take part in the formation of plasmalogen in animal nerve cells. Plasmalogen as the most abundant phospholipid in myelin sheet of nerve cells. It also play a role in the production of bile acids important for the absorption of fats and fat soluble vitamins such as vitamins A and K. Uric acid oxidase enzyme is absent in humans, explaining the disease known as gout, caused by the accumulation of uric acid. Paroxysm also contribute to healthy aging and age-related disorders in humans. Paroxysms in mammals and humans also contribute to antiviral defense and the combat of pathogens. Now explain second cellular organelle glyoxysm. Glyoxysomes are specialized forms of paroxysms found in plants particularly in the fat-rich tissues and germinating seeds and also in filamentous fungi. Seeds that contain fats and oils include corn, soybean, sunflower, peanut and pumpkin. It contains enzymes such as glycolic acid oxidase and catalase. As in all paroxysms, in glyoxysomes the fatty acids are broken down to acetyl core by beta oxidation process. When the fatty acids are oxidized, hydrogen peroxide is produced as oxygen is consumed. Thus the seeds need oxygen to germinate. Besides, glyoxysomes possess additionally the key enzymes isocitrate, lyase and malate synthase which involved in conversion of lipids into carbohydrates by a process called glyoxylate cycle. The seedling uses these sugars synthesized from fats until it is mature enough to produce them by photosynthesis. Plant paroxysms also participate in photorespiration and nitrogen metabolism in root nodules. Centriol. Overview of the topic is. What is centriol? Discovery of centriol. Structure of centriol and function of centriol what is centriol centriol is a non-membranous cylindrical shape organelle that is composed of a protein called tubulin it found in all the animal cells some lower plants such as chlamydomonas it is absent in all the higher plants such as angiosperms flowering plants and pinophyta conifers they are also absent in many of the fungi, usually present near the nucleus. They are two in number. Centriol is 10 nanometer in diameter. Discovery. Centriol is discovered and identified by two scientists in two different times. Edward van Benden and Theodor Boveri. Edward van Benden, in 1883 observed centriol for the first time. And, later on in 1895, Theodore Boveri identified the centrioles. Centriole structure. A centriole is formed of nine set of microtubules organized in a cylindrical shape. Each set of microtubule is further consists of triplet microtubules. These triplet microtubules are held together by connecting fibers. But there is also exception in the structure of centrioles among the organisms. Such as, the embryo of Drusophila melanogaster and C. elegans are exceptions to this organization. They have nine pairs instead of triplets. Whereas the premature embryos and sperm cell of C. elegans have only nine single microtubules. One thing should be noted there that, Cytoplasmic area where centrioles are present is called centrosphere. Centriole and centrosphere collectively called centrosome. 
centrioles function. Following are the important centrioles function. The centriole is concerned with the cell division. They help in the formation of spindle fibers that separate the chromosomes during the cell cycle in the process of mitosis and meiosis. They can be transformed into basal bodies that give rise to flagella and cilia. Centrioles are involved in organizing microtubules of cytoskeleton in the cytoplasm that play a key role in the three-dimensional shape of the cell. Centrioles are capable of forming new centrioles. So, centrioles are self-replicating organelle. Centriole is responsible for the positioning of the nucleus and other spatial arrangement of the cell. Cytoskeleton the word cytoskeleton is composed of two Greek words, kaito, means cell, and skeleton, means dried body. However, we can define as, the cytoskeleton as the network of fibers which are composed of proteins and provides shape and support to the cell, organizes the organelles and facilitates transport of molecules, movement, cell division, and cell signaling. Let us have a detailed look at the structure of cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton comprises three types of fibers based on size and chemical composition. Microtubules, microfilaments, and intermediate filaments. Microtubules. Microtubules is a small, hollow, round tubes made up of a protein called tubulin. Microtubule is formed by the polymerization of a tubulin dimer that consists of alpha tubulin and beta tubulin monomers. These tubulin dimers then associate to form a protofilament. Commonly 13 protofilaments laterally link to form a single hollow microtubule. Microtubules are 25 nanometer in diameter and have an inner diameter of 15 nanometer. Microtubules can be as long as 50 to 200 micrometers. Microtubules are very dynamic structures, which reveal that they can change quickly. They keep growing or shrinking steadily. There are also two major classes of motor protein associated with movement along microtubules, the kinesin and dynein. Both classes of microtubule motor proteins utilize the energy of adenosine triphosphate or ATP by hydrolysis to move along microtubules. Kinesin and dynein plays essential roles in intracellular transport, such as movement of cellular organelles, molecules, and vesicles containing cellular contents. They also help in beating of cilia and flagella, crucial to cell motility. During mitosis and meiosis, separation of chromosomes occurs with the help of these motor proteins that move microtubule spindle fibers. Microtubules functions in many ways, such as, these help in transporting cellular organelles and materials, like, mitochondria, lysosomes, vesicles, microtubules, also divide chromosomes during cell division. Several cell organelles are also derived from special assemblage of microtubules, for example cilia, flagella, and centrioles. Microfilaments Microfilaments are thread-like fibers made up of contractile proteins monomers called actin. They are linked to inner face of plasma membrane. They are 3 to 7 nanometers in diameter. Microfilaments occurs in bundles or mesh-like network. Each single microfilament contains two chains of actin molecules twisted to each other. Besides actin proteins microfilaments also consist of tropomyosin and troponin proteins. They are particularly found in muscle cells. Functions of microfilaments include microfilaments interact with myosin filaments to perform muscle contraction. They also play role in cell membrane division during cell division known as cytokinesis. Intermediate filament. The intermediate filaments are long thread-like structures composed from a large family of proteins. Based upon their expression pattern and structure, intermediate filament are classified into five different classes. Type 1 and 2. Intermediate filaments consist of the keratins proteins, highly 
found in epithelial cells, but also expressed by several non-epithelial cells, type 3 intermediate filaments, which are composed of Wilmington and Desmond proteins, type 3 intermediate filaments found in variety of cells, type 4 intermediate filaments, express mostly by neurons and muscle cells and compose of nestin and cinnamon proteins. Type 5 intermediate filaments, formed of lamins proteins and found within nucleus. Type 6 intermediate filaments, which are composed of phacanin and phylancin proteins. Type 6 filaments found in lens. Different intermediate filaments combinations are found in different cell types. Here we focus on general mechanism for intermediate filament assembly. Intermediate filament protein monomers combines to form a protofilament. Then these protofilament laterally associate in an antiparallel fashion to form dimers. The dimers then associate and forms tetramers. Once formed, tetramers further align to form a unite length filament. Then these unite length filaments anneal longitudinally to form long flexible filament and subsequently undergo radial compaction. To form a complete intermediate filament with diameter of 10 to 12 nanometer. Functions of intermediate filaments. It provides tensile strength to the cells. Therefore found in particularly durable structures such as hair, scales and fingernails. The primary function of intermediate filaments is to create cell cohesion and prevent the acute fracture of epithelial cell sheets under tension. They enhance resistance to compression, twisting, stretching and bending forces. Helps to stabilize the extended axons of nerve cells. Intermediate filaments line the inner face of the nuclear envelope, where they help harness and protect the cell's DNA. If you feel good to see this lecture, so please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and must comment below in the comment box. Flagella we will talk about flagella, structure of flagella and function of flagella. So, flagella are microscopic hair-like structures that have a whip-like appearance involved in the locomotion of a cell. Found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes organisms. Bacterial flagella are a coiled, sharp, bent, thread-like structure and are composed of a protein called flagellin. Eukaryotic flagella is made up of a protein called tubulin. Eukaryotes include protist cells, gametes of plants and animals which have flagella. Structure of flagella. Basic flagella structure is divided into three parts. Basal body, hook, and filament. Hook is a broader area present at the base of the filament which connects filament to the basal body. Filament is a thin hair-like structure arising from the hook. Now cut the flagellum and take a transverse view to see the internal structure of them. Internally a flagellum is composed of nine peripheral pairs of microtubules that we call microtubules doublets. These doublets are interconnected to each other by necks and linkers. There are also a pair of centrally located microtubules. The central microtubules are enclosed by a central inner sheath which is connected to one of the tubules of each peripheral doublets by radial spokes. Such an arrangement of microtubule is referred to as 9 plus 2 arrangement. Eukaryotic flagella is covered with plasma membrane, while bacterial flagella lack plasma membrane. There are also found motor proteins on the tubules of doublets called dynein arms. These arms bring movement in the flagellum. Flagella function. Flagella performs the following functions. They help an organism in movement. Flagella also act as sensory organ in some organisms to detect temperature and pH changes. Few eukaryotes use flagellum to increase reproduction rates. Recent researchers have proved that flagella are also used as a secretory organelle for example, such as in Chlamydominus. If you haven't subscribed my channel up to now, please subscribe the channel and push the bell icon to get notifications of such more interesting videos. Cilia. The term, cilia, is a Latin term meaning, eyelash, indicating the tiny eyelash-like appearance of the structure. However, we can define cilia as, cilia are membrane-bound, tiny, slender, hair-like structures mostly present on the surface of protozoans and some animal cells that provides locomotion, 
feeding and sensory functions. Cilia are most prominent in protozoans of the phylum Ciliophora which are characterized by the presence of cilia. Cilia are different from flagella which are mostly longer and fewer in number on the cell. Cilia also differ from flagella in other aspects like composition, movement, and functions. Cilia are present only in eukaryotic cells and cannot be found on prokaryotic cells like bacteria. Instead, Bacteria contain other structures called pili that perform similar functions to the cilia. On the cell surface, cilia can occur either in short transverse rows in the form of a membrane or in groups to form cirri. The movement of cilia mostly occurs in a rhythmic manner, and individual cilium does not move independently. Types and structure of cilia There are two types of cilia. 1. Primary cilia. 2. Motile cilia, primary cilia, primary cilia are non-motile cilia that are projected from the apical surface of the cells. Primary cilia are found in different mammalian cells like stem cells, epithelial cells, endothelial cells, connective tissue, and muscle cells. If we observe primary cilium under microscope so structurally looks something like this. The ring structure of microtubules in the cilia is called axoneme. Primary cilia have 9 plus 0 arrangement of microtubules in the axoneme that means there are 9 pairs of microtubules in axoneme that we call doublet microtubules. Primary cilia lack the central microtubules which are responsible for the motility of the cilia. The cilia are anchored to the cell by means of basal body. Primary cilia are not associated with motility but involved in sensory functions. These cilia act as antennae that receive signals from the environment which are then transferred to the cell. The ciliary membrane contains various receptors, channels, and signaling proteins that are involved in the process. Motile cilia Motile cilia are moving cilia typically found on the specialized epithelial lining of the body such as peranasal sinuses. Ovidict of uterus Ventricular system of the brain and airways of the lungs. Motile cilia are also found in ciliates organisms that use them for locomotion or to move liquid through their surface. Motile cilia occur in large numbers and move in a coordinated beating movement. Motile cilia are primarily involved in the movement of the organisms or different substances through a passage. Motile cilia have 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules in the axoneme that means there are 9 pairs of peripheral doublets microtubules in axoneme and 2 centrally located singlet microtubules which are responsible for the motility of the cilia. Motile cilia are also anchored to the cell by means of basal body. Functions of cilia the functions of cells may differ in different types of animals as well as in different types of cilia. The following are some of the functions of cilia. The motile cilia present in respiratory tract are involved to sweep away unwanted substances, other microorganisms, dust particles and mucus to prevent diseases. In the ovidict, the cilia move the ovum from the ovaries to the fallopian tubes for fertilization. Primary cilia in retina and kidney acts as sensory structures that are involved in sensory reception. Different cilia play important roles in cell cycle regulation and organ development. Cilia in paramecium are involved in the locomotion of the organism through water. Besides, the cilia are also involved in the initial step of the mating reaction in paramecium as it takes part in conjugation. The cilia sweep prey organisms or food along with water into the oral groove which helps in feeding as well.